Hey guys, welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. Terry with you today. Let's talk about my homestead manicure. That's about as complicated as it actually gets. But we'll talk about a few things. Let me tell you about this, ladies, because I know the ladies are more into this than the guys, right? So I have been wanting to make this video for two days, and I have held off on purpose because I was out in the chicken coop, and I was trying to clean out the nesting boxes and going and going and going, and I said, oh my gosh, I have got to clip these claws off of my hands. And I thought, I need to make a video on that because this is a major transition in my life. If you don't know, which you might know, for a very long time, I was an on-air television show host. True story. I worked for Jewelry Television for 10 years. Not only am I a graduate gemologist, an, AJ, an AJP, uh, and can grade just about anything coming and going. Oh, pearl specialist, all of that, hence the pearls. But nonetheless, if you go to all of these shopping channels, you're gonna see a very common thing. The women have very manicured hands. It is a requirement for their job, believe it or not. And for most ladies out there, that's a dream come true. I will tell you that I had to have manicures when I was an on-air on air host. Most weeks, twice a week. I would go say on a Monday and sometimes I would have to in, end up going back on Thursday or Friday depending on my show schedule. I have been through jail nails, tips, my nails, your nails, every trick of the trade. And I always had okay fingernails, and I really enjoyed having the pampering because, you know, it feels good. It's nice. And originally, you know, it looks nice when you come out. My favorite was the French manicure. But let's be honest, I've totally switched lifestyles. Manicures just don't really apply here. And I want to tell you the irony in this whole deal. So you go and you get all, you're taking all of the tricks of the trade and doing all of these things to have these long, luscious nails because... It just doesn't happen for most women. Some get very lucky, some of us really don't. But here's the deal, when you switch lifestyles into homesteading, you're gonna have fingernails like you've never had before. Go ahead and laugh because I'm telling you it's going to happen. So when you switch to more natural foods, homegrown foods, home canned foods, probably pushing out some of the processed foods, you're putting in more natural things, maybe you're doing oil pulling, raw milk, Hey, 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 eggs, all of these things, funny things start to happen to your body. Your body starts to transform. Your nails start to grow. Your hair grows a whole lot faster. Your skin is clearer than a baby's butt. All of these things start to happen. It's like a miracle. But here's the catch. When you're out there working and milking that cow, Cleaning those nesting boxes. Trimming all those hooves. Clipping all of those tomatoes. Canning all of these goods. Working with large livestock. Let me tell you right now, these become nothing more than a problem. So here's how I take care of my manicures now. I simply keep my nails cut down as short as I can possibly stand it. I probably trim my nails down um, at least once a week. These got a little bit out of hand. I noticed these changes in particular when we moved up here and we started doing all the things that you see us do now. It's like I have to keep up with it because it gets out of control. Now I do think, let me show you, share with you a couple tricks of the trade. I know, fingernails. But let me show you a few things. 
Now, I do think that you should try to keep things healthy and clean. And, you know, you don't want things to get too rough. For me, if my feet or if my hands get too rough, they do start to crack and they do start to peel and that can become painful. So you do want to keep a simple scrub on hand. I keep in my shower from Trader Joe's. It's not expensive. And I try to about once a week, I try to go over my feet and with my hands a simple scrub. There's, they're out there on the market. You can buy any type that you like. You know I'm a lavender girl. So this is the one that I like. And by the way, I just want to tell you, if you're going to use a salt scrub on your feet, ankles, and lower legs, do it before you shave. Take my word for it, <laughs> okay? So there you go right there. But it's really nice just to get in there and try to get some of the deep crevices and the dirt and the tomato. You know, I was out there today, my fingers were all green and all that. And I know a lot of you ladies like to wear gloves. I will wear gloves when it's a safety issue, but if I can get away with not having to wear gloves, depending on what the task is, I don't wear gloves. Especially when I'm, you know, obviously milking an animal and whatever, you're not wearing gloves. So there's that. The next trick of the trade, which is there's two things here, actually, not, it's not the paint. Forget that. You ain't keeping paint on. Uh, so anyway, <laughs> forget that. Um, there's three things that I use to help with um, pampering my skin uh, in many different ways. For my face, my hair, my body, my feet, and especially around my cuticles, I use two particular things. Real true argon oil. We're going to have a video coming up on that. Argon oil. This stuff is the bomb. And even with my hair, I even put it a little bit in my hair, even though my hair is very thin and fine. Ain't getting past that, right, comparatively speaking. Um, but this stuff works great. You've seen me talk about coconut oil for many, many years. I use it just about for everything. So for my hands and my feet, um, for my face, oil pulling and different things like that, I'm always reaching for my coconut oil. You can use it when you make your deodorant. You can use it when you, like I said, your oil pulling when you make your toothpaste. But these are really good. So you want to be able to look into one or two or both of these. Every day, this sits on my countertop. If you come into my house and you want to use my restroom and I have my little beauty section right there on the countertop, you're gonna laugh because it's coconut oil, argon oil, um, there might be a salve there. That's about it. That's my tricks, okay? Now, if you're really wanting to have a, a real meaningful way to help keep your cuticles really, um, if you have trouble with like split cuticles, um, if you have trouble with um, hangnails, they, they can hurt. They really are bad. Trick of the trade, triple antibiotic cream. Once you get set to go to bed, once you are literally ready to put out the lights, ladies, have you a little triple antibiotic uh, ointment right there on your nightstand and put it right around your cuticles. Put it on wherever your, your heels are splitting or whatever. I'm going to tell you what, in just a couple of days, you're going to see a big difference. This, is, this trick, as simple as it is, comes from some of the best manicurists around. Trust me when I tell you, it is one of the tricks of the trade. So that's what I do. And just to close out the video, since we're talking about a little bit of beauty and this or that or the other, let me tell you something else you're going to notice when you start homesteading. And it's going to be very quick and obvious, especially if you're working with live uh, livestock, large livestock, and if you become a milkmaid, you are going to have the strongest hands around. Let me tell, guarantee that right now. You will not believe the amount of strength that you are going to build from here to here. You're going to be able to handle, you're going to pick up. I'll never forget um, a year after I was, uh, after we had started milking, I started milking Belle. Me and my dad, we goof off a lot. So I can remember showing up at his house and we always, you know, we do frogs and we act silly and, you know, we act like we're WWF or something like that, silly. And I grabbed him like right here and he said, Patera, stop it. And I was like, what, what, what? I thought, you know, he said, what, how, what is going on? He's like, you're like, like Wonder Woman. I said, what do you mean? He said, your hands are so strong. Because my ring size is a four and a half. So when I'm a big grown man can honestly say, the strength you got going on is unbelievable. I'm telling you, ladies, it is a fair trade to not have to put up with this, to be getting a little bit older and still being able to function and be healthy. So that is simply how we run around here with the only lady on the homestead and her manicure.
If you like this video, like and subscribe. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. We'll talk to you soon. You're going to love this lifestyle. Keep going forth with it. Y'all take care out there.